here today with a candle review. I want to get some candle reviews up. I am burning through. <laughs> I am burning a lot of candles and I did want to start doing some more candle reviews for the channel for you all for the some fall winter candles so here we go so I picked this one up recently and wanted to go ahead and review it I have been enjoying this I've burned quite a bit if you can see I started burning this late last week it is my candle for the week so we're going strong on burning this one this is the Old Fashioned Cider Donut. I do like the packaging, I think it's kind of cute. I tend to like wraparound labels, I've said that before. I do tend to like those, and I do like photo labels a little bit better, but this is a vast improvement over <laughs> what a lot of people called like the fifth grade art project of the first fall releases where they had that pineapple pound cake, and warm apple pie. I thought those were strange. I don't know, but I like this one a little bit better. So I did purchase more than one. I have my second one here so I can read the scent notes in that and put this one over my head. So this says old fashioned cake donut, baked apple sprinkled with brown sugar cinnamon. So I did pick up a few of these, like I said. So I did, I have three. I did exchange a couple of candles that I had purchased. I. Let's see, I got some online orders and you know you can't sniff those before <laughs> before you purchase them. So for example, the Welcome Home, was that an online exclusive? I wanna say it might have been. That I just did not care for at all. I didn't burn it. I didn't even like the smell of that. And then I had another one I can't remember that I just didn't care for that I got as an online exclusive. So I thought, you know what? I really, really like this on cold. So what I would say on cold sniff, what I got most of all was a really nice, juicy apple. So it smelled like an apple donut to me. Not necessarily cider, because I equate cider, depending on, like a lot of fragrance oils for cider have a lot of spices in them. So it's kind of more of a mulling spice. So I was a little concerned about that, but when I sniffed it, right away I knew, I was like, I need more of this one. It's a very nice juicy apple donut or apple cake. I'm always looking for that. I've said that in some of my other videos. My mom used to make the most delicious apple cake and it smelled amazing when it was baked, but it wasn't overly seasoned in terms of like lots of cloves or lots of cinnamon. It was a nice bakery cinnamon. So that's what I get with this, at least on cold sniff. I definitely get the apple. It is not a greasy donut smell. Like Homeworks has that, what is it, hot, is it hot cider donut? I think that one's, that is that one that is definitely more of a greasy type of donut smell. On um, that one, this to me is more apple. Now, that's on cold sniff. So I have burned this. This is probably, I want to say fifth or sixth day burn. So I have definitely been burning it. I stick to my two to three hour burn time on the candles because I find that sometimes they get scorched if they are hot fast burn. You can see that we have some pretty good flames going and I just lit this up just for the purposes of this review. I'll probably have it going in this office for a little while today as well. I'll keep it lit after the review is over. But yeah, you can see that it's kind of a hot fast burn and when it does that, I tend to stick to the two to three hours because you can get those big mushroom tops at the end of the wicks and then that causes soot. I don't want a lot of soot. I have enough soot because <laughs> I burn candles quite a bit. Just pulled out my furnace filter and I'm like, ooh, we need to change this more often. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I'm pretty vigilant about keeping my candles trimmed and watching them and putting them out if I'm noticing any soot and I put them in the candle crock. So can you imagine if I wasn't that vig vigilant? Oh, it was, it was pretty dirty. So I'm gonna change those more often. But in any case, so this is burning very well for me so far. I did have to cotton ball it once and that was at the beginning. I feel like some of these are filled pretty, pretty high. Now this is okay. So I don't trim my wicks if they look like this. I just kind of let them burn down and then they do well. But I've been noticing a couple of the candles are pretty full you know, which is nice, but then your wicks struggle a little bit. So I did cotton ball this once to give it a little bit of extra help and get it burning because I did notice it was getting a little bit of the puny wick syndrome on this. So keep an eye on it. You want a nice 
consistent burn so that the wax pools all the way out and gets all the way to the sides. And I did notice that one of the sides was not pooling out all the way. I think the air was hitting it just right. So I did end up turning the candle around and then it started melting on the other side as well. It was kind of funny. So just keep an eye on that. If you're having problems with maybe your candle pooling all the way out, check maybe your airflow. Maybe it's under a vent or by a fan or something like that. Anyway, so how do I feel like the fragrance is doing for me? I think this is, you know, I will say, and it's probably because my air conditioning, it's hot here still. Air conditioning is running 24 seven. We do have some fans on to kind of keep the air moving and, you know, help the air conditioning out just a little bit. So I've noticed obviously that is affecting my candle and wax throw. I would say this is probably maybe a five or a six for me. I don't get as much of the juicy apple in my large open concept as I do on cold sniff. I would like a little bit more juicy apple with this one, at least, you know, as it's burning. And it was a little disappointing on that end because I absolutely love this on cold sniff. It was so good, such a nice apple donut cake type of scent. And I would like a little bit more of it. I wanna see how it does in this office. This one might, if you want to really get that nice juicy apple smell, you might really need to put it in a little bit smaller of a room. So just keep that in mind. I mean, not every candle is going to perform in a large open concept with high ceilings. And that is just the layout of my home. It doesn't necessarily mean that the candle is not going to do well in a smaller room or a smaller home. So I would say that, you know, you might have to move your candles around if you have a case like mine where you have lots of airflow going on at certain times of year. Just play around with it and move your candles around to see if you get better airflow in certain areas. So yeah, I really enjoyed this candle. I would say it's definitely a bakery fragrance with that nice apple in there, not super heavy on the cinnamon. So I was really pleased with it. I'm glad I have two more backups of this. Now I did have the cider donut back from, what was it, a 2013, 2012, 2013 candle. I just finished that. That was in my empties <laughs> recently on the channel. And I really think that that one was losing its fragrance for me. Unfortunately, that was kind of a bummer because it was very, very good back in the day. They are the same candle. And I know a lot of people like that one better. I actually kind of like this one a little bit better, at least now because of the apple. I like a little bit more apple in my apple donut candle. <laughs> type of blends. So I think I prefer this a little bit better. So would I purchase more of this? Absolutely. I hope they bring this back again. I don't know how it's doing sale-wise in the stores, but I do hope that it comes back again. I do have two more. I've been trying not to go super crazy and hoard tons of them, but my thought is to get at least one backup. That way I have it for the next season if they don't bring it back that following season. So I think I'm good with having the two in my collection after this one. And I think that'll that'll be good. I like trying new candles. So unless it's a super, <laughs> super star that I wanna make sure that I have plenty of, I don't think I'm gonna go crazy. I don't think it's necessarily hoard worthy. I think Bath and Body Works does enough fragrances that can be similar like I really like their warm apple pie that's a good substitute for this as well so yeah I think I'm happy with the two that I have and I will enjoy burning those and finishing this one up so let me know in the comments section down below did you pick this candle up did you have the older cider donut from back in the day what do you think how is this burning for you? Would you pick up any more? So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.